Hi, my name is Matthias Schiesser, and I am a FPGA development engineer at Speedcode with a focus on FPGA-based power electronic simulation. Here I would like to show you how we can deploy this uh, model of a three-phase two-level converter uh, to a Speedcode FPGA module. Quick overview on the model. We have a three phase two level voltage source converter, which is connected to a low voltage grid uh, by an LC filter. There is some current and voltage measurement, and then there is a circuit breaker, which allows us to disconnect and connect the, con the converter to the grid. There's a low voltage load, and then there is a transformer, which connects to the medium voltage grid. Now, what I typically do before going to the real time system, I rearrange the model and this looks then like this. Everything that should be executed on the FPGA sits in this green subsystem. We can have a look inside. In the center part here, we have the plant model. So we have the converter and we also have a state space representation of the uh, Simscape model. It's basically a state space. Uh, model in Simulink, which we received through the Simscape to HCL workflow advisor. Now, around the plant model, I have the possibility to add other components modeled in Simulink. Here we have a PWM generation unit, which generates the PWM signals based on the controller outputs. Then we have some scaling and the analog interfaces. This is to output um, the phase voltages and currents. Then we also have a DMA streaming mechanism to stream the signals to the CPU where they can then be locked in real time. And we have some triggering for the analog in and outputs. Now with this, I can directly go through the HDL Coder Workflow Advisor and I can define all my interfaces. Now the SpeedCode uh, HDL Coder integration package for the IO334 allows me to use uh, in a simple manner all the, the available interfaces such as PCI interface between FPGA and CPU. We have the analog in and outputs, which can be mapped, mapped here. Uh, we also have the digital in and outputs, which we use for the PWM signals. And then we also have the DMA streaming interface. Now, the HL coder uh, at the end outputs me a model that looks like this. This is the actual uh, real time model that can be deployed on, on the SpeedCode target machine. Again, we have the green subsystem with all the drivers um, for the FPGA. And in this case, we have here on the top left the current control, which uh, is executed on the CPU. I can very easily deploy this to the target machine, it's already built and downloaded, so I can just connect to the machine and start the model. And I connected a picoscope to the analog outputs of the IO334. And we can here see the analog signals of the real-time simulation. So on the top here, we see the three phase currents injected into the grid. And at the bottom, we see the, P, the first PWM signal. So this is simulated in real time. Now, if I deactivate two channels, I zoom in a little bit. We can actually see the current ripple of the 20 kilohertz switching of the converter and all that in real time. Now, it's one thing to look at this uh, analog signals with the picoscope. Another uh, possibility that we have, uh, because we stream the data to the CPU and we can directly lock them and visualize them in the Simulink uh, simulation data inspector. So this is from a previous run, a very short run. We have the voltage, the phase voltages here at the top, and we have the, the currents at the bottom. So this is the um, initialization sequence so we give the pll some time to synchronize to the grid so the converter is not connected then we connect to the grid which causes some disturbance and then we have a step in the current set point so we start injecting current into the grid and here again if we zoom in we can actually see the current ripple and this is all data coming from the real-time system 
the resolution we have here is one microsecond, as is the time step of the plant model on the FPGA. Now, to give a bit a better overview of the, this test setup, this is actually a loopback test. So we have the controller and the plant model both simulated on the SpeedGo target machine. Um, but we, we loop back the PWM, the physical PWM signals, and we also loop back the analog uh, measurements of phase current and phase voltages. So we have the current control here on the CPU. We have PWM generation on the FPGA and also analog in and outputs. So this is the controller side, and then we have the plant model and uh, also the, the necessary interfaces uh, on the FPGA and DMA for streaming to the, of the data to the CPU. CPU runs at 50 microseconds. The FPGA clock is uh, five nanoseconds, which is also the resolution which we get on the PWM signals and the plant model itself runs at one microsecond. Now, this is our example test setup. Here is how this would look like then for a real hardware in the loop uh, test. So we could use the exact same model, but instead of looping it back, we just connect uh, a real uh, device under test, uh, i.e. Um, an embedded controller where the current control and PWM generation would sit in this case. This is the hardware that was used. So we have a speed code performance, real-time target machine, and we have an IO334 FPGA IO module uh, with the Xilinx Kintec 7 uh, FPGA on it, where we simulate this uh, plant model with converter and uh, small grid. 